Hello? Hi. Um, this is False Idols, and welcome back to another unboxing. Quite a large unboxing this time. Today we're unboxing... Oh! It's Chi from Chobits. Not not on the front of the box. Look at how it looks on the front of the box. It just looks like, oh! It does look like, oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's a very questionable design choice. It's fine. We all know who she is. Um... Wow, there's a really long history behind this pre-order. Um, I pre-ordered her in April of 2019 and got her in January 2021. Woo. 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 Yep. Um, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. That didn't really... Oh, there we go. I can see her in there, kind of. There we go. Yeah. Sort of, kind of. Um, wow. There is a lot of stand here. I did not realize she was kind of... Yes. Okay. Uh, I think it's so cool that they chose this art from this uh, this version of the manga. It's this great. Is, okay, so for people who are familiar only with the anime, this is much more the manga art. Right. Yeah. Um, this, is, this is a pose slash sculpt taken directly... Uh -huh. From uh, one of the covers. Yeah, I think I remember. I've seen this. Mm -hmm. I have it somewhere. <laughs> See, now it looks like she. Th that line is full on the sleeve and not on the. Right? Am I insane? No commentary on that. Yeah. I, I don't know. There were a lot of delays with this before. I guess just the moon looks. Oh, whatever. Before. It's fine. Everything, even last year, like. She was already delayed, so there might have been some design changes here and there. She is fully assembled in there? I think so. Think so? Um, she's okay. battery powered, so that's going to be fun. I'm, I assume they did not include batteries. Does she, like, spin? Why is she battery powered? The light lights up. The What light? She's sitting on a lamppost. Let's, oh. uh, let's the, the box a spin and check that, oh. check that art out. Oh, boy. Yep. It's really pretty. Um, looks great. Sitting a little close to a reset button, huh? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. A little, a little close. Yeah. Um, this is going to be loud. Who's who is this? So who's this by? Uh, this is by Hobby Max. Hobby Max. Let me okay. Scoot back a little bit. Do because we? Of this massive figure. Do we know anything about Hobby Max? Uh, Hobby Max is fairly, you know, mid-tier uh, mm -hmm. figure maker. They are in China, and yeah, this, is this thing is thank long. You. Yes, very long. This is long. We're gonna get rid of this box, or else the whole rest of the shot is just this. Right. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Um, this figure actually released in China first before it came out internationally when it was finally released. Uh, there were a few issues. Uh -huh. She, here she is, in all of her. Classic glory. It's a really nice figure. Yeah. Like, um, all joking aside. A couple things got changed, I think. Um, there's also a bootleg floating around, oh, which no. confused a lot of people. Okay, that's not open. Oh. There's tape. Of course there's, there's tape. always tape. There's tape. Yep. Um, but, you know, I always, personally, expect things to not always be exactly like the prototype or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, I wasn't disappointed with what I saw. It, it, in fact, it just... Made me more excited um, for when I eventually got that shipping notification, and then she got thrown on a boat and came finally to here. Right. <laughs> yeah. She made it safe and sound. Box was immaculate, and doesn't look like anything is broken. But we will find. Looks out. like yeah. There's there's some real points of uh, potential breakage. Right. Um, I'm actually happy to see that everything looks good. Yeah. It seems a little nice and kind of bendy. Uh, wow, her face is perfect. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah. That's a nice looking figure. Yeah. We were just talking about how, like, the face is kind of what makes or breaks a figure. I agree. Um, and I feel like they definitely did that here. Right, yeah. Especially wow. if you're going with the manga interpretation over the show, which is a little different. It's hard to say how it's different, but Clamp is always like that. Sure. Um, their, arts, ooh, their art style is very unique. Um, it's almost watercolory, uh -huh. I guess you could say. Wow, that's um, a really nice figure. Jeez. So far, I'm liking what I see. She did poke through a little bit, so that's she's okay. a little sharp. Um, wow, her she has tons of hair, which yeah. is canon. 
Um, oh my. Does her hair grow organically? I'm not sure, but I would not hesitate to say that Persicoms don't actually grow hair. They're kind of stuck with the hair that they've got, or they can maybe change. Why would you want that much hair then? I mean, she's a magical one, you know? Yeah. She's got to have the flair of the hair. Wow. Okay, great. Flair of the hair. There's so much packaging on this. Yeah, that's for the best, I'm going to say. I agree. Um, it's almost like a journey. Yeah. Doing this right here. Ooh. Woo. Yeah. Uh, so far, I'm not seeing any breakage. I think yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of things are pretty bendy. Yeah. Which is what you want. I'm just nervous looking at you doing this. I think it'll be fine. The base is a little heavy for how like skinny the light pole is. Uh huh. Um, it's interesting. It's good that it's a heavy base. So does it come with batteries? Should I be running to get batteries? I don't think it actually comes with a battery. I can't. I can't say. It's. I, I would assume shipping. No. What, because... Where does it battery? Is it like watch batteries? Boop, boop. Underneath. There's We're gonna take room. a look. Is there room for triple A's down there? Uh, we'll find out. We will yeah, find out. We'll take a look. Oh wow. Um, okay, I think that's all of the plastic. Yeah. Is it? Can you do like a double check for me? I don't see. I mean, besides, you know, the the plastic that's supposed to be there. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think we got it all. Um, yeah. I'm actually hugely surprised that like these don't come off, or like the back of her hair doesn't come off. And it's, what was the Amazing. MSRP on this figure? Um, I think she was originally around 120. That's and... it? Yeah. That's it? Well, that's we're talking it. two years ago, too. They're giving this thing away right, at 120. 15 inch, 1 7 scale figure, 120 uh, ish, not including shipping. I paid 130. 120? Yeah. 120? Yeah. Is there anything under there? Uh, there's. Why don't you go ahead and just flick? The... How about I flick the switch? I'm going to flick the sure. switch. I'm going to do it. Did the light come uh, on? No. So no. We need to <laughs> okay. probably get that Why in there. Why don't I do this? Is it a watch battery? Sorry, everybody. Uh, okay. I think it's triple hold A's. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody relax. The light really didn't come on? No, that's good. We want that. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, because we have to... Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set this down. I'm going to set this down. Let's see if we can get... I have not messed with a watch battery in a minute. Oop, and then we go like this. Did you have a tab maybe to pull? That, yeah, that's what I did. Oh, that's what that sound that's was. That's probably, yep. So now it should be contacting. Amazing, they shipped it with a battery. <gasps> and the light came on. Okay, the light came on. Hold on, Beautiful. hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. She seems pretty bright. I mean, you know, not quite. Bit. It's probably hard. It's getting washed out uh, on the main cam, but... Yeah. Yeah. Not quite a nightlight, but still pretty no, good. No, but I think like for some mood lighting, like yeah. in a case or something. Um, obviously you don't want to leave it on all the time, uh -huh. but I I think it's great. Like it's cute. Would you prefer if it was a cord, like to plug in so that you can just set it and forget it? Because like now, but that requires more like a bigger LED and stuff. I think and like. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, it's hard to say what they went through in prototyping too. Right. I mean, so, now it's just I, I just have a hard time envisioning you opening your glass case and then being like, I'm going to turn the light on for fun. Yeah. Um, I think because these kind of LEDs mm -hmm. kind of tend to fail and I don't know how to replace it. Uh, I might not use the light feature very often, yeah. maybe for pictures. But I mean, it's really cute, though, if you have it on a shelf that's not enclosed. I think it would be really cute mood lighting. Right. Yeah. I, like the... The only basis I have is the that Isaac Clark figure that mm -hmm. they did that has the like glowing blue. Like that one was battery operated, but then eventually, like I just left it on all the time. So I'm like, well, whatever. I own the fat as well, just leave it on. And the problem is, like once once that light burns out, that light has burned out now. You're kind of out of options. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know, as a novelty effect, yeah. it's it's much better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I think it looks great, and it totally fits the yeah. sculpt, like, concept. I love this figure. I'll be honest. Like, I don't really have mm -hmm. a strong, like, hey, Chobits. Hey, if you haven't seen Chobits, you should go watch Chobits. Or read it. It's only eight volumes. Or watch it. I don't know. Or watch it. It's I'm really not, funny and silly and boss, interesting. But, 
<laughs> like, this is a phenomenally nice figure, especially for that price. Like, that's insane. Right. Like, I think look at the base. Like, typically, when you get a cheap figure, you're talking about sacrifices on other pieces of it, like mm -hmm. their accessories or their face or <laughs> the base specifically. And, like, this one not only has a great base, it lights up. It seems really, really accurate to the character. Let me get the lights back on again just so yeah, we can really get a good look. Yeah. But seems really accurate to the character. Just overall, like, if you can give her a spin, we'll get a good look at the hair, and then, you know, that's probably good enough. But. Right. Um, I'm not seeing any major paint flaws on no. her. Um, I know some people were disappointed by what they received. Uh -huh. It happens. Um failures happen and that really sucks. was there were there issues with this one there were a couple issues a with shame. like her hair um the she has these little they're so hard to like classify as like barrettes or clips or whatever uh -huh. um they were supposed to be silver and now they're gold i don't think it takes uh, away at all okay her dress was supposed to be whiter and a little more kind of translucent -y. um just kind of to kind of go along with this sort of like angelic theme that her bow is you know is with but i don't think the changes are bad i don't think it affects the overall figure because her face and her ears and her hair look great and that's what you kind of remember chi for is her face those eyes that are like really kind of wistful far away um yeah and i think they nailed that yeah. again you know and i'm not seeing any major paint flaws on any of these like really detailed parts especially like when you do leg ribbons those are where you gotta watch for them and they look great you know, um, she even has little finger fingernail paint, which is cute. You know, it's attention to detail, and I really enjoy that. Yeah, a lot. Plus, she lights up. Like, how freaking cool is that? So, yeah. I uh, worth the wait. Uh, a solid, you know, nine, ten out of ten for me. Mm -hmm. um, and I would say if you can get her aftermarket, totally, I would jump on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I think that's, that about covers it. Yeah. Really, really a great figure for the price. I can't even pretend. Yeah. Uh, read the show or read the manga. Read the show. Watch, watch the, manga. the manga. Yeah. You know, Whatever however you feel like doing it. Um, it's, it's all great all around and yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.